just have about the worst assignment ever. <laughs> Said no one ever in this situation. I have puppies galore here. <laughs> and barks aplenty, too. <laughs> Patty Spiller from Pet Pals TV is here with us on, of course, National Puppy Day. National we could not Day. miss this. We've been celebrating it all morning, showing your pictures. And oh my gosh, Patty, our Facebook page blew up when we asked for pictures so um, and then we asked for puppies to come in and look what you delivered yeah. Mike and Kathy Underwood with Camp Bow Wow Lawrence are here they see puppies a lot because sure. when you get puppies you need training a lot of people work all the time and if you get a puppy that needs a lot of training like an Australian Shepherd <laughs> by here this this particular dog was turned into Speedway Animal Shelter because the, the rescue got it because they wanted a lap dog, and they didn't do their research. Uh, how and many times have we said, no, you're breed, no, you're do your breed. research? They're all the same, but they're all different. Come they have carrots. different qualities and characteristics and Come traits on. that are inbred. This dog would like to herd and needs a lot of activity. So Mike and Kathy, tell us some things that we need to do. By the way, this puppy is up for adoption oh, okay. for the yeah. right home. Yes. So yep. uh, right you guys home. want to tell us yep. what we need to know? Well, first, when, you, when you're ready to, to bring in a family member, do your research. Uh, make sure you know what you know what your living conditions are like. How much time you can give to your pup, and know what what uh, what your pup needs. Uh, Kara here needs to be can, able to run. Yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and no matter what, it is a lifestyle change. Yes. yes. You are you are committing absolutely. Yeah. Like like Stewie over there, he's still a puppy mentally. <laughs> Because Bernese oh, Mountain yeah, Dogs, heart. which I know, are puppies up till three years of age. So you've got a hundred pound mentally challenged <laughs> oh, puppy. Mike, what else Karen. do we need to know about puppies? Well, well don't, don't forget that uh, uh, when you get a puppy from a rescue, you're not necessarily getting a dog that's got a problem. It's Karen. just simply that it didn't Karen. fit the family. Mm -hmm. um, so you need to make sure that, that we understand that, She's going that to the water. not all dogs go to, to rescues Karen. because they're bad. That's a great point. Karen. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Karen, and we know how important, too, Karen, those go. early weeks are in oh. the bonding yes. and just their socialization. Yes. Because they, anything they experience in, what, those first, what, 14, 16 weeks is First 16 vital. weeks is critical, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, they've got to, they've got to experience everything they can during that first 16 weeks. Socialization, so. yep. oh, very important. Yeah. What are some other things we need to know, Mike? Looking at your notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I tell you what. So you know, um, maybe a puppy's not for you. Uh, maybe you I'm can look at a senior dog. Senior dog. Then uh, that's a lap dog, maybe. Right. Maybe an Australian <laughs> Shepherd lap dog at the very end. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I thought I was all about puppies, <laughs> and I, I have a nine-month-old at home, and Patty knows, Mike knows, yes. that there have been challenges along the way. He's my third dog, and hes they're all different. Yeah, now, they're, you know, I always say know your breed because... Uh, I've you, said he might be my last puppy. I might be going to seniors well, after that's this. Not a bad so idea. they're all super cute. We're enjoying all of your pictures, but this is just a reality check, and it's good advice, things to think about, that mm -hmm. puppies aren't for everybody. They are a lot of work. They're worth it. Oh, you know, yeah. if you're a dog lover, yeah. they're worth all that work. Yes. Yeah. So, and, and so, so check out, Mike, what else do you need to know? Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, Patty, you know, if, if you're not sure what dog you would like, become a foster. Oh, that's a great idea. They could always, use, and then when the dog gets adopted, people are like, that, well, what's this dog like? You know what the personality is like you know what, because you've had him in right. your house. That's a wonderful thing to do. By well, the way, this is Maze right here. Anatolian Shepherd and Shepherd Mix. Going to be a big girl. She is. Look at those paws. Yeah. And she's a puppy with uh, Danny and Angela Ruxton. They are wonderful pet owners. So she's going to have a really, really good life. Yes, you are. So we got to <laughs> thank like all of you for coming in and bringing all the four legged friends as well. This has been awesome. It's made my day. And of course, you can see Pet Pals TV every Sunday after weekend daybreak. So we will have that on at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning for you. We are going to send it to Randy right now. All right, Jerry.